There are so many other great ways to cook beef brisket other than barbecue. And today my dad's gonna demonstrate how with a classic Ching Tong Ngao Lam beef brisket soup. It's a heartwarming pairing of the juiciest brisket and a soothing blend of spices and aromatics. Besides the star anise and Sichuan peppercorns, we'll also prep two dried ingredients. After a quick rinse of the dried scallops, we'll set them aside. The dried mandarin peel will leave soaking in the water. We'll cut the ginger into rough slices. This clear broth may look deceptively simple, but it's flavor packed with a whole cast of ingredients. Dried scallops for a savory base, dried mandarin peels and ginger to complement the flavor of meat, and finally, Sichuan peppercorn and star anise to add a warm, spicy depth and complexity to the broth. We'll dice up just the green parts of the green onions. Our team has a gripe because everyone seems to call this root vegetable a turnip. In Cantonese, we call it lobak, but in English, it's a bit more complicated. It's popularly sold in Western markets as daikon, a Japanese word and our preferred term, but scientifically, it's part of the radish family. You may also see it labeled as white radish, winter radish, or oriental radish. Turnips are completely different vegetables, but some communities will fallaciously refer to this vegetable as Chinese turnip. That's why the popular lobako is called turnip cake, even in our own video. Whatever the name, this is the vegetable we're using. After peeling, we'll cut up the radish. After quartering the radish lengthwise, we'll cut them into smaller pieces. My dad is doing a variation of the rolling oblique cut, one of 10 fundamental knife techniques we cover in our comprehensive masterclass on Chinese knife techniques in the Kanto Cooking Club. To get access, learn more at club.mayoflao.com. How do you prefer smelly turnip? Hmm? After cutting the radish, we'll create the mouth-watering dipping sauce. We have all of these ingredients listed on our blog at madewithlao.com, along with step-by-step -step instructions and video clips to guide you as you make the recipe at home. With our pre-cooking preparation done, we can start up the stove for this next step. Now we'll turn on the heat to high. Now 
We'll cover the wok until it comes to a boil. You may need to move the brisket around to make sure it's not sticking to the bottom of the wok. What other cuts of beef would you recommend? How do you achieve a clear broth? Is it necessary to strain the broth? When the water boils, we can turn the heat to low. We'll also flip the brisket here. My dad likes to poke a few holes in the brisket to help the inside cook a bit. After about seven minutes of parboiling the brisket, we'll remove it and place it directly into cold water to rinse it off. After parboiling the brisket, we're ready to start cooking the soup. We'll add the rest of the ginger. Then we'll add our dried ingredients. We'll also add 10 cups of hot water. After adding your choice of chicken bouillon or broth, we'll add some salt. Now we'll add the brisket. Brisket is a tough cut with lots of connective tissue, whether it's through slow and long cooking methods like braising or slicing it thinly for a Korean barbecue, each technique focuses on breaking the connective tissue down. Our low and slow simmering method results in a rich, full-bodied broth. Shirley from the Kanto Cooking Club asks, what's the secret to getting the most tender and juicy meats? Um when the water boils, we'll turn the heat to low, then cover the pot loosely.
Now we'll let it simmer for roughly an hour and 45 minutes, at which point we'll add the radish. After the hour and 45 minutes, we'll add the radish. Now we'll cover the pot until it boils. Now, after 20 minutes of simmering the radish on low, we're ready to uncover. We'll first remove the brisket. With the heat off, we'll set the brisket aside to rest. With the radish, we'll put them directly into our serving bowl. We can remove our spices as well. Now's the perfect time to try the broth. Whoa. Whoa, eh? After the brisket has cooled a bit, or about 10 minutes, we can slice it. When you look at the grain, you're seeing which way the muscle fibers are running. You want to cut those fibers short. If you don't cut those fibers with your knife now, then your teeth will be working overtime to cut them later when you're chewing. When you put the meat on your cutting board, align those grain lines to run from left to right and set your knife perpendicular to those lines to cut your slices for serving. On your completed slice, you shouldn't see any long grain lines. How do you prevent brisket from becoming dry? <laughs> Now we can place the slices on top of our radish in the serving bowl. Then we can pour the broth over the brisket and radish. And finally, top with our chopped green onions. Of course, I had to try it first. Mm. Our son Cam's been really picky lately, so let's see if he likes it. It's super tasty. The is super good. It's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Cheers. YouTube thinks you'll like this recipe next. Let's see if they're right. A huge thank you to our walk stars and all of our chefs in the Kanto Cooking Club.